I want to welcome you to our second resourcing discussion for the Embodying Christ series. So instead of doing our 10 minute discussions, we're really focusing on what resources can help us most. And we don't really need 10 minutes to talk about some of the best ones. And so I'm just going to share a few so you can get right to it and enjoy uh, learning and growing in the areas that we're talking about in this blog series. So uh, a few of the resources that I have to share with you are really focused on how it is that you can grow your prayer life. The first one is this great book. It's Prayer by Richard Foster. Uh, this is what the cover looks like that I have. It's available on Kindle and all of the other options on Amazon. You'll see a link in the description and you can get your copy there. Uh, this book really focuses on um, furthering the understanding that he shared in his book, The Celebration of Discipline on Prayer. And so this is finding the heart's true home and really engaging in that um, experience of prayer that is so critical to the life of a Christian and understanding how that uh, works for us. There's two books by Watchman Nee that I want to share, and, and I'll tell you why I'm sharing both with you. Um, there's The Prayer Ministry of the Church and the Let Us Pray. Now, each of these books has a great bent to it, so if you're looking for one or the other, um, you can check out these books. The first one, The Prayer Ministry of the Church, this really focuses on the corporate experience of the church and how prayer can affect you as a community of faith. This one, Let Us Pray, focuses instead on your individual experience. And so it really is about understanding your personal prayer life and understanding how you can grow um, what is prayer, praying according to God's will, prayer and God's work, uh, and some points on prayer that may be really helpful. Now, the last resource that I want to share with you, this one I think is really important, and you can find your own versions of this, but I'm just going to share one version with you, and that is finding the prayer of those who founded our faith, those who have come before us, and praying with those who are perhaps already gone to be with Jesus, if you want to put it that way. Um, so those who have lived our faith experiences before us. And so the version that I want to share with you, these are ones that are shared by uh, the Jesuit priests and the Brotherhood. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this group, the Jesuits are a particular variety of Catholicism, and they really focus on this idea of uh, expanding on the work of St. Ignatius of Loyola. And his work really focused on this idea of showing the glory of God's creation and revealing to individuals the importance of recognizing the Creator God from his creation. And so their prayers really focus on the individual's experience. And I think it's really important for us to see what others have said and experienced before us. And so to close our time of resourcing uh, before we go, I'd love to read a, a conversational prayer that was written by Pedro Arupe. He composed this prayer right after he suffered a debilitating stroke and the effects of which he patiently endured for the last 10 years of his life. And so he wrote this conversational prayer called In the Hands of God, and it is one of the prayers that is available on the website that I've shared in the link with you. This is what it says. More than ever, I find myself in the hands of God. This is what I have wanted all my life from my youth. But now there is a difference. The initiative is entirely with God. It is indeed a profound spiritual experience to know and to feel myself so totally in God's hands. May you also experience that kind of moment where you find yourself so totally in God's hands that we can experience life of faith with one another in a new and different way. And so I'll be praying for you as you dive into these prayer resources. Many of them are on sale this week on Kindle, the first and after Christmas sales. And so hopefully you will find something that really really meets your needs and can encourage you this week. So God bless everyone and we'll see you next week for our next Embodying Christ series.